Saturday, March 21, 2015, this 10-year-old crossbreed female comes in with salivation on the right side of the mouth. The saliva comes out from the right side of the mouth, but uh, the left side, left side is okay. There's no, no saliva. No saliva coming out, or a little bit, maybe a little bit, a little bit have. Okay, so what is the problem? Now, this salivation has happened for more than two weeks. So now, I will do the examination. Examination. Check the sub submandibular lymph nodes, which is painful. Okay. One, submandibular lymph nodes swollen. Then, uh, That's all, one only. Yesterday, three days ago, there were three swelling. Now there's one swelling here. And uh, the x-ray showed no bones. I opened the mouth. You not like it. It doesn't like it, open the mouth. So what we have to do is we sedate the dog and uh, check, check inside whether there's a bone or not. There's a bone inside here causing the pain, pain and salivation. So that's why the dog, this side is okay. This side is a swelling here. You can see the swelling. This, this is uh, to be abscess or salivary gland leaking. One, two, two swellings. Two swellings. This side, no swelling. No swelling, nothing. The submandibular gland is about one centimeter, but not, not swollen. This side, the submandibular gland, this is submandibular gland, is about uh, four centimeter across, and there's another one here below. So there are two swellings. This could be a tumor, abscess, or slavery, slavery uh, gland inflammation. So we have to check further, sedate the dog, open the mouth, and uh, check whether there is a bone inside here or not. A bone stuck. This dog likes to eat bones. So, Guapayo Vets, March 21, 2015, Singapore.